Here is the number E. But E is more than just a number, E is everywhere. Let's see how many mathematical and real life instances of E I can describe in three minutes. Roll a four sided dice four times. The chance of not rolling a one is 0.3164, about 31.6%. Now roll a six sided die six times. More sides, so more rolls. The chance of not rolling the number one is 0.3349. A 12-sided dice with 12 rolls gives you a probability of 0.352. Now use a computer to simulate 100 rolls of a 100-sided dice. The chance is getting closer and closer to 1 divided by E. Take the graph y equals 1 on x. Draw the vertical line x equals 1. Now draw another vertical line so that the enclosed area is exactly 1. The second vertical line is at x equals E. Invest $10,000 at 5% for 7 years. As you get interest paid more and more frequently, the amount you end up with gets closer and closer to 10,000 times E to the power of 5% times 7. Take the curve Y equals X to the power of 1 over X. The maximum value of Y occurs when X is, you guessed it, E. Suppose a country's population starts at 10 million and increases by 2% per annum. The formula for the population after t years is this. E's there again. Get out a calculator and notice that e to the power of 2 is greater than 2 to the power of e. So what do you say? Probably because e is greater than 2. But e to the power of 4 is greater than 4 to the power of e. In fact, take any positive number except for e itself. e to the power of that number is greater than the number to the power of e. No other number does that. Take a 100 litre bin filled with water. You pour in oil at 2 litres per minute. The bin has a leak and the oil and water mixture flows out of the bin at the same 2 litres per minute. The amount of oil in the bin after 2 minutes is given by E again. Take the graph Y equals E to the power of X. The gradient or the slope of the curve at any point is actually equal to the height of the graph at that point. Let's take a close look at where the curve cuts the y-axis. The value of e to the power of x at that point is 1, and sure enough, the tangent to the curve, or the slope of the curve at that point is 1. This was actually in an episode of The Simpsons. So e is everywhere, even in American cartoons. Many people will have seen this equation using the complex number i. Well, that means that e is equal to negative 1 to the power of 1 divided by i times pi. This is not the complete story about E and I. Have a look at the extra information PDF if you want to see more. Work out the number of ways you can arrange people in a line. Now divide by the number of arrangements with the extra condition that no one is in their alphabetically correct place. As you get more and more people, the ratio of the two numbers of arrangements approaches E. I've only really scratched the surface, but I hope you've enjoyed seeing how E is everywhere.